I'm John Shumway. We are in the West End Circle today dealing with this mess that was caused by this landslide that you see behind me. That dirt is actually covering the ramp that comes off of the West End Bypass and goes down to Carson Street. But as you can see, I mean, that is completely covered at this point. And as a result, they also had to close this. This is the road that comes off of the West End, right up West Main Street and takes you into Carson Street. But the problem is they don't know how much more of this is going to come down. And until they can get it stabilized, they can't reopen this ramp. They can't reopen the roads coming out of the West End. This is one of many slides that we've been dealing with over the last couple of days as a result of the incredible amount of rain that we have gotten. And I want to get back here as far as I can to try and give you an idea of just how big this slide really is. And as we get back here and you look up the hillside, this thing goes all the way up to the top and you can see way up there at the crest, I think you can see a house or two. That's how far up the slide came down from. Took out a house in the process, completely covered Greenlee Street, and of course, as you can see, this mess. So you would think, okay, bring a bulldozer in here, bring a front end loader in here, scoop this stuff out of here and get the roads reopened. The problem is if they do that, what's up there is just gonna come down here. So they actually have to start the digging out from up on top and then work their way down. We don't know the condition of Greenlee Street, if it was damaged or not. Uh, obviously this road isn't damaged, but it's covered. Now this made a royal mess of the morning rush hour, and it's probably gonna make a mess of the afternoon rush hour as well. What we don't know at this point, and what we're hoping to find out this afternoon, is just how long this is gonna last. How long is it gonna to take to clean up this mess? And this isn't the only landslide they're trying to deal with all at the same time. So coming up tonight on KDK TV News at five and at six o'clock, I'll run down for you the latest. Not only how they're gonna go about cleaning up this mess, but how soon they can get these roads reopened. It doesn't look good for the morning rush hour tomorrow, but maybe, maybe they'll have a solution before then. We'll have to find out together at five and six o'clock on KDK TV News. I'll see you then.